How's it going everyone? Mask here, back with another Black Desert Mobile video. Now, today, in our in our next video of the pre-release sneak peek series, we're going to be taking a look at the, a, like a beginner's introduction to leveling up your weapon, increasing your combat power, and, and, and powering up your gear in general. It all sort of follows under the same umbrella. So I've been questing, I'm level 31 now, and I've really hit a wall where uh, I'm not strong enough to, to beat these quests. I'm really struggling on them and I'd like to get a lot stronger. I'm only at 955. They're starting to suggest me to be in the thousands for this part, this content. And let's take a look at how you do it. So obviously you're gonna have your, your gear, your main weapons in the game. Uh, your, your, you, have, you have jewelry, you have actual, I would call it armor and you have your weapons. My weapon's currently plus one, but I have this weapon I invested in earlier, spent all my currency on to get it to plus 15. Well, uh, it turns out that's actually not the worst thing in this game. Uh, uh, and I'll show you why. You can take that plus 15, and I, this I, I never really, really truly would have noticed, You can, but we can take the fit plus 15 and feed it into our new weapon that we've gotten and basically preserve that enhancement that we have on it. So... If I go ahead and throw this, my, my, my new staff, yellow being better than blue, into the middle here. Go ahead, add the plus 15 weapon. We have an 80% chance of transferring plus 15 onto the new one. Now, it's going to go, the way it works is it goes down, you lose one level. So we're going to go from plus 15 down to plus 14, but that's better than losing it all. Like seriously, that, that's a pretty sweet deal. Now I'm sure there are, uh, this looks like there's probably a side currency that we can add to probably make this 80% better. I'll take an 80% gamble. I, I certainly hope I don't fail an 80% here just for the sake of this. Okay, we're good. So the plus 15 now transferred onto my main weapon, which is plus 14, which is phenomenal. That's an amazing increase. And it looks like I also had this my side weapon at plus five it's going to transfer over, but it looks like it's being reduced to plus three. Still, that is a ton of currency you would have spent. So if we go, this is all in your Black Spirit menu. We're going to click the uh, the sword at the top here, and this is how I'm going to further enhance that gear. And I, I would say it's hundreds of these stones I spent to get that my previous piece of gear to plus, uh, to where it is at plus four, to, at plus 15. So I'm glad I am actually able to preserve that those enhancements and move it on to your new stronger pieces of gear. So I, you're in this menu here. We're going to continue adding, adding uh, pluses. Let's call them and adding enhancement levels to to our gear. Getting stronger. It'll show my combat power going up every time. Uh, as as your side weapon. Now these smaller stones, you get them quite a lot. They're really easy to come by. As as you um, as we get up to like this, for example, plus 14. Each one of these stones is only doing 0.2 of a level. So 10, here's 100, we're at 4.3. We're gonna throw in 20 stones and that's only gonna get us to 8.8. .8. So the, the smaller stones start doing practically nothing towards getting your pluses up. So as you can see, these guys here though, they're giving me 20% per, these are going two each. So it's getting pretty easy. I, I played a lot of games where you're doing a lot of enhancing. I don't gamble anymore. I, you, 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 you fail, they go down, you, you break stuff. I don't know the full details on failing, but for now, I highly suggest just push to get those guaranteed enhances. What is it worth for you? You're saving a couple stones here or there. It's just totally not worth the chance at, at failure. Oh my gosh. Plus 16. Beautiful. That guy's flying up. I, I'm going to spend these, this, these smaller ones on uh, enhancing this secondary as much as I can because I don't I think all the rest of these together are, are not even gonna get that to go from plus 16 to plus 17 these ones over here might but they're like a whole new tier extremely extremely effective so I probably shouldn't use them till I, I might grind my way to plus 20 on this main weapon there we go 100% again it looks like we're gonna get it to plus 10 which is gonna be great there's 9, 20%, 5, oh, 35. I'm not going to make that gamble, but let's check. Nope, it's still saying this is over a 100% chance. So I don't want to use that. Uh, that's, and that's going to be it for enhancing the actual armor. Now, if we look at gear, jewelry is a different story. It takes, I, have, I haven't done any enhancement on jewelry yet, but 
the actual armor. Unfortunately, I don't have great armor, but I have so many excess stones. So I could add a ton of enhancements to the armor. I'm not going to do it. Uh, I mean, I'll do, I'll do some of it here. Four chest armor. Let's see. One tiny little stone gets you your first enhancement. So I really should just scatter pluses through all of all the gear here get it up because you can see when i finally do find that better piece of gear i can i can maintain those enhancements for the most part so as far as things you need to know and mistakes you can make and nothing i've covered so far is there really uh is it is is really a risk of you doing something wrong that you're going to regret now this part there is though so on these on, on these weapons you have the ability to insert stones and in, into them that are going to increase their strength. So let's look at, that's this section right here. We pop this up and I currently have this legendary level, uh, let's call it a jewel, inserted in the weapon. Now it's going to cost me 100 of either one of these two currencies. A fairly rare currency that takes a lot of time for you to build up and stack up that much. Now this is not an end game weapon. Now, it was the tutorial that told me to put this in here, unfortunately. And boom, I followed the tutorial and I've inserted this legendary jewel in this absolutely not endgame weapon. And it's going to cost me 100 of these uh, white or black pearls to get it out. I don't think that's ever going to be worth it. I'm going to want to spend that currency on something else for sure. So I've actually made a terrible mistake here in, in inserting this legendary jewel into this non endgame piece of armor. Now, I, I'm lucky because it could have been worse. Uh, the actually, I think I've stored all of my really good jewels in my storage now. I actually have like an orange one, which is, or a reddish hued one, which is even better than legendary. So all I have left are these nor quite more normal. As you can see, they're green, extremely low rarity in comparison. So I suggest inserting ones like these into all of your gear for now because it's it, th these are easy they're not not expensive to take out in fact they're not worth enough for you to even care about having to take them out later i wish i, I don't have my translation overlay up right now i disassemble it normally you see my phone sitting here and that's how i've really been following all the context so i'm not sure what all the individual stats that these jewels are are giving so i don't know what i'm gonna th throw in quite yet but that'll be really obvious to you on the english release where you can read everything plain as day but i just wanted to point out somewhere where you can actually make a mistake that you're seriously going to regret is right here with your gear inserting these let's call them jewels gems whatever into your weapons they give bonus effects so the bonus effect on this i believe it's 4.4 percent movement speed and i don't remember what the five percent was but it's made my weapon definitely stronger it's just it, it's gone it's like you really aren't going to be able to reuse this legendary jewel in better gear down the road because it's just not going to be worth this extremely expensive price tag of a hundred white and dark pearls to get it back out so be careful when you're adding your gems in and be sure that when you start when you do go and add your absolute super rare best gems in you're really comfortable in this being an end game piece of gear for yourself and uh that really, that really covers the basis, entry level gear. That's gonna get you through your first couple days. You follow that, you, 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 can, you can feel free. I, I'm someone, when I start a game, I hoard all of my currency because I have no idea what I'm doing. I don't put any stat points in. I don't level up my skills because I'm always worried about making a mistake and ruining a character or, or putting points somewhere where they don't belong and not being able to undo it. I'm always so terrified of that. So I, at least with the armor and adding enhancement levels to the armor, you're totally safe. Just be careful about putting the jewels in and you're good on that front. Now I got a lot more to learn still when it comes to stats, uh, skill point leveling up, but that's, that's the whole reason I'm playing on the Korean server right now to learn that and to get ahead. You should come and hang out. I'm streaming live right now at twitch.tv slash mass TV. I'm going to be live as much as I can leading up to the launch. And of course, after the launch goes, I'm going to be live more than I'm like as much as possible that's just that's exactly what I'm excited to do and I'm hopefully I'm that's my next up is skills stats skills and I'm gonna be looking at different characters the different characters that are available on release but that'll do it for a, a big a, like an intro advanced look at gear enhancing gear and how to increase your combat power as you can see we've jumped to 1135 combat power now so I've added almost or over 200 
to what I was at, which is definitely going to help me with uh, story progression. I should be able to get a, I should be able to progress a bunch more quests now without having a problem. I was starting to give me really, really try hard to clear just about anything, which slows down your progress too. It's not that it's bad to do that. If you're good enough, you could progress way ahead of your suggested level, but it's slower no matter what. So you should always try to push your gear, make make yourself as strong as you possibly can before aiming to progress. Thanks for checking out this video. I hope you are having a fantastic day. Make sure to come join our Discord. It's discord.gg slash masstv. We're going to be talking about Black Desert Mobile non-stop in there, leading up to the release and supporting each other in trying to get ahead once the release does happen on uh, this Thursday. And that yeah, that's going to do it. I hope Hopefully I see you again tomorrow. I got uh, many more videos planned leading up to release and... Of course, after the game goes live, I don't know if I'm going to have any time to even record. It's just going to be grind, grind. Uh, did I mention you can go fishing in this game? I just found that out today. I think I sat here and fished for 30 straight minutes, and it was the best 30 minutes of my day. <sighs> I'm going to get your hair now, though. Thanks for checking out this video. Until next time, smash that subscribe button, and stay classy.